At least two state lawmakers are now raising some questions about the pileup that happened this morning and maybe if anything could have been done to help prevent it. CBS 11's Nicole Nielsen tonight with that side of the story. That's all new at 10 o'clock. So the images are shocking. The images cause questions to be answered. And as a legislator, that's our job is to ask questions and determine how we got here. This morning's car wreck on I-35 in Fort Worth involving nearly 133 vehicles is leaving state legislators with questions. When truckers tell our first responders, I could not stop. From the moment that there was no braking, that there could not have been any de-icing procedures on that roadway. Both State Representative Ramon Romero Jr. and State Senator Beverly Powell said today on Twitter they received reports that the road may not have been properly pre-treated. Though North Tarrant Express, which covers the area of the crash, told CBS 11 today they pre-treated the road on Tuesday and had since been spot checking. They've just admitted that they didn't do it in a 24-hour period. Which Representative Romero says begs other questions. So what is TxDOT's procedure? The next question, is it every 24 hours? Is it every 12 hours? Is it every six hours? Does it matter based upon traffic? Tonight, Fort Worth leaders couldn't answer to whether or not they believe this portion of the road had been pre-treated, but they did say that the question would be part of a larger investigation. We will definitely be getting more information out about that when we have that information as part of our investigation. Regardless, Representative Romero says he believes more attention should have been paid to the road he already calls dangerous. If you don't have a shoulder where there's no way for you to get off that highway, you should have done it every day. Fort Worth leaders promise tonight they're doing everything they can to make sure it doesn't happen again. We'll be monitoring the situation. And Representative Ramiro left his own promise too. And there will be legislation coming from this. I want this to me as an emergency item, and I hope that the governor takes it up that way. In Fort Worth, Nicole Nielsen, CBS 11 News.